silicon photonics has become a mainstream technology that is now being deployed across so many applications. It started in the data center and today it's about well, exotic things like quantum computing and things that you and I will use every day, like LiDAR for our for safety features in our cars, autonomous driving, things of that sort. Sensors in smart watches and you name it. There are just so many new applications coming out that will represent consumer class demand. So this is going to eclipse the demand we've seen so far in the data center driven silicon photonics market. It's going to eclipse that by about a factor of a thousand, three orders of magnitude. So consequently, this industry has needed technologies for manufacturing and test that can scale to achieve that kind of volume. For many things, that means longer travels. Now, you may have seen in our demonstrations over the past few years, some groundbreaking technology that performs multiple degree of freedom alignments across multiple inputs and outputs, multiple channels of silicon photonic devices, and does that all in one step. So it's 100 times faster than any other alignment technology that's been available to date. Well, that needs to scale to accommodate the higher demand, to accommodate circuit boards that have photonic devices on them that need to be tested, to accommodate the trays of devices that need to be qualified, tested, and validated. And that's why we have introduced this technology into our long travel stage offering. So here you see a stack of stages, linear motor, air bearing stages, last forever. There's nothing to wear, there's no lubricant, no maintenance, and it provides the long travel with also the alignment algorithms built into the controller. So again, you have this ability to do multiple degrees of freedom, multiple inputs and outputs, multiple channels, and do so all in one quick step. It's a groundbreaking capability we're very excited about. You will see several demonstrations in our booth here at Photonics West that drives home this point, that PI is your partner to scale as silicon photonics becomes mainstream. As an example, I mentioned circuit board tests. What if you had a circuit board many centimeters in, in extent with an array of detectors and sensors and emitters, and things of that sort. Trying to scan something that size is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. And that's exactly what we're doing in this demonstration here. We start with a fast scan of the entire area of the circuit board. And then we localize that particular LED and then zoom in on it. From there, we can perform various metrologies. We can track it. We can do all sorts of things. The key is mechanism, and a platform, and a capability that can be scaled to your application.